There we are once again. Uh, this is the last show for the history films. I'm going to be doing this um, uh, video in two parts. Uh, probably around about six, seven minutes long. But I'm in trouble getting it down to like 15, under 15 minutes and not <laughs> talking too much. Uh, this is Pharaoh's Army. It's another um, American Civil War film. Chris Cooper, Chris Christopherson. Good film. Uh, Platoon, one of Oliver Stone's best. William Defoe is brilliant in this film. Tom Berenger just steals the show though, Sergeant Barnes, look at him there. He's just badass in this film. There's no other word for it. Against Stall, uh, this is the third in the trilogy of, um, of, of uh, the Bohem um, Czech set of films. It's talking about the history of Bohemia in the 15th century. Uh, Jan Hus and Jan Siska preceding it. Great, great films. Really pick these up, you know, if you're into your, um, into your, you know, history, particularly medieval. Really, really good film. Really, really recommend these films. Brutal for the, the time as well. Really good. <coughs> uh, the Reckoning. Uh, kind of a medieval murder mystery. Paul Bettany plays a disgrace to frock priest on the run. After, uh, uh being with someone else's wife, um, ends up uh, joining a group of a uh, travelling and an, an acting troupe led by William Dafoe and uh, Brian Cox. Um, Vincent Cassell turns up in this as a sort of a depraved English lord. Um, he's, he's got a French accent, but to be, you know, if you if you. Um, if you know during the period, most of the um, English nobility, um, his accents were kind of um, had a French tinge to it, because uh, French was a uh, French was language of the court. Henry the Fourth being the first um, English king, who's, who's um, with uh, English being his uh, first language. Good film, really recommend this. Winnie the Pooh shows off his awesome yoga techniques. Doing a spider walk as well. Very, very good film. Uh, Lorraine Magot. That's a French film. Uh, set in the 16th century. <coughs> religious turmoil in France. Uh, between the Catholics and uh, the Huguenots. Um, Huguenots being the Protestants. Um, culminates in um, St. Bartholomew Day's Massacre. A hundred where uh, thousands of Protestants are slaughtered. Um, Really, really good film. The Massacre in it, very brutal film, my god. Um, the Massacre itself is one of the most brutal things I've seen. Some of the, some of the, uh, the gore is, uh, very, very well done. Really recommend that one. I know you can get a longer one. Um, uh, from Germany, I think, but I don't think it has English subtitles. Great film. Uh, RFK, a uh, story of Robert, Robert F. Kennedy. Only good thing about this is Linus Roach's portrayal. It's very good, but the film's not much cop. I wouldn't really recommend it. Um, right. Uh, Robert the Devil, uh, Ang Lee film. Um, kind of set within a civil war, within the civil war. Um, Kansas-Missouri border, pro-Confederate and pro-Union. Forces going at each other, a brute guerrilla war. Yeah, it's not bad, not particularly great either. I you can get a longer version of that. I'm not really, I can't say I care too much. Uh, River Queen is a good one, um, starring uh, Cliff Curtis there, Tamora Morrison, two great Maori actors. Um, this is set in the backdrop of a Maori rebellion. rebellion. Against uh, the British Empire and the colonial forces in New Zealand. Good little film, this good little battle sequences. Really recommend this one. You can pick it up. Now, Rough Riders. Uh, Tom Berenger being uh, president, um, not president yet, uh, being Theodore Roosevelt. Uh, forms of the first uh, US Volunteer Cavalry Regiment known as the Rough Riders. Uh, they shipped off to Cuba in a uh, Spanish American War. Uh, culminates in the Battle of San Juan Hill. Great, great film. 
Sam Elliott's in this, and we all know. Well, no, I haven't said it yet, but I'm a big fan of Sam Elliott. Gabe uses as well. Doesn't play a nutcase. And uh, the one, you know, well, I, I normally used him playing nutcases, but he plays that role very well. As an aging um, ex Confederate fighting for um United States Army. A uh, Rohan of the Sun, Robert Shaw playing Pizarro. Christopher Plummer playing uh, the Inca leader, uh, Atala Hooper. Um, pretty good film. Uh, it's a bit slow in places. That's not bad. The Saints and Soldiers, Second World War film. Set, um, the America's Perspective as uh, the Germans are driving through the yard then, in the winter of 44. 1944, good film. Uh, Schindler's List, great, great film, showing a uh, plight of the Poles. It's just a uh, plight of the Jews. Uh, Jewish Poles, I think. Um, yeah. And uh, Oscar Schindler. Uh, German businessman trying to save as many as possible. Good film, really shows the true horror of the Holocaust, unlike kind of Escape from Zobobor there, which didn't really do that. Uh, this is the Criterion edition of Seven Samurai. Brilliant film. Shots to the heart, line of search, and Vincent Perez. It's in the back chop of a war in the Balkans. Two more now, and then I think I'm going to cut the video in half. Uh, this is Silmido, a Korean film, really nice edition. Uh, the last one for this part is um, Sovereign Servant. It's a Russian film. Um, uh, the backdrop is uh, in the middle of the Great Northern War. Uh, Peter the Great of Russia and Charles II of Sweden are about to go at it. In a, the one real deciding battle of the war, and it culminates this film in the Battle of Poltava in 1709, where after initial success, the Swedes are eventually crushed by the Russians. The Russians become the predominant power in the Baltic. Great, great film. Great battle sequence. Just thoroughly recommend that. Uh, that's the end of this shelf. Uh, no, no, it's the um, end of this video. I'm going to show uh, the rest of the shelf in the next video. Uh, cheers for watching and cheers for subscribing. Thanks.